Slick talker since a jet. When I talk, all the time, ooh. Yeah. Look at the way that I move. Swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude. Okay. I had cocaine in the school. Uh, What's up, YouTube? So today, we're gonna be reacting to scary stories, as you can already tell. This is my first time showing my face, so don't mind the ugliness. And before we get headed into this, I bet none of y'all have the courage to watch all these. All right, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see. If you guys to the end of the video, subscribe, like, and yeah, turn that post um, notification bell. Alright, before we get headed into it as well, this first one is called The Woman by Llama Arts. It was uploaded by Llama Arts. Alright. The Woman. It was a late, moonless, snowy night. I heard the chilling cry of a bobcat as I arrived home from my parents' house, where we had just had what Thanksgiving dinner in Northern in Michigan. Snow. Exhausted, I had finally made it to my bed. My pregnant girlfriend asked for nacho cheese munchies. Reluctantly, I laced up my boots and went to my car. Due to the cold, it took me a while to start the car, which only made me more irritated. But eventually, I got it started, <laughs> and I arrived at the convenience store to retrieve my girlfriend's mandated snacks. As I left the store, <laughs> walking snack. back towards my car, I saw a shadow of movement out of the corner of my eye. What looked like a person stood near the dumpster, just out of the light. I stepped towards the figure. Who's gonna be next to the dumpster? Anyway? With a giant sinister smile. <laughs> her face was so weathered it looked like she had cracks all over her face. Get some chapstick. Get some chapstick. Down and appeared to be chewing on something. Oh, I looked to see what she was chewing on. To my surprise, stop standing there and run. As if it had been rotting for weeks. I saw her glance at something in her pocket. Right. I could see the outline of what looked like a pocket knife. Right. As soon as I looked back up, she quickly repeat charged again. me. Right. I pushed her away and then ran back to the convenience store. I burst through the door and frantically yelled towards the cashier to call the police as I turned to lock it. Of course, him. police. He asked me, What's going on? Billy just called the police. And said, Please just call the cops. I looked back outside and saw the woman had moved across the street and was still scrutinizing me as she maintained her benevolent grin. Look, there's a girl out there who's trying to kill me. Bruh. Looking over me, he replied, I don't see anyone out there. Of course, there, he does dark outside. Those words shook me, even to this day. When the police reached the gas station, they began looking around for the woman while one of the officers asked me what had happened. And I told him the details of the encounter. One of the officers came back and said he couldn't find anything. I then took them back to where I first noticed her. We spent a few minutes intently mm. searching. There was no proof she was mm -mm -mm. ever even there. The officer cocked his head and looked at me as if I was Ooh, I ain't looking at him like that. Get them juices juicing. Then turn you around and hit you from the back wrong stroke and while I rub your left toe as I suck on your right. No. To defend myself. What? Then I started to think. I'm tired. I have had a couple of drinks, so I just told them, "Yes, sir. Sorry for bothering you." Cap. You have Lies. Sleep. You're not and feeling okay. Home. I got home at around four o'clock in the morning. My girlfriend greeted me with an anger but concerning tone of voice. She asked me, "Where were you? <laughs> Are you okay?" So I out with somebody else. It happened. Of course, she didn't believe me. I couldn't get to sleep that night. I sat in my bed questioning my sanity, wondering if it was all even real. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm just tired. But no, you're not crazy, Dad. I, I, I saw it. But Indeed, if you I did. saw it. Why was there no proof? Where did the arm go? Where did she go? Uh, didn't you see her walk across the street? Of course she disappeared. She the walked morning. across the street. I had to go to work. work. I threw on my jacket as I was about to head to the construction site. Then I put my hand in my pocket and noticed that there was a... <laughs> <laughs> I thought, 
What if she caught my jacket as I ran? Which further proves my suspicion that she was real. I couldn't believe it. My mind completely went wild. Oh shit! Stay. I told my friends at work what had happened. They didn't believe me either. They made jokes about it the entire day. I had my bowling tournament that day, so that gave me something to look forward to. I got home and hung my vest and jacket up and rapidly put on my bowling shoes and got my bowling ball. My girlfriend looked at me with a pleasant smile and said, When will you be back? Probably around 11. <laughs> Don't be long. <laughs> Don't be long. I won't. Don't worry. At around 10.30, the tournament had finally finished and we had won. I was so thrilled I... As we were leaving, I noticed something at the other end of the parking lot. It was that psychotic woman. We stared at each other for what felt like oh, an eternity. No. She slowly started moving towards me while waving her knife in the air and making cuts. I quickly jumped into my car and turned it on. As I looked up, I saw she was standing in front of me, staring at me. She slowly walked over to my window, and she said in a quiet, deep, and scratchy voice, Little pig, little pig, let me in. I was frozen in fear, but I snapped back to reality when she banged on the roof of my car, screaming. I quickly slammed my foot on the accelerator and didn't let off it until I couldn't see her anymore. When I arrived what? home, I told my girlfriend what had happened. Like last time, she didn't believe me. I really thought I was insane, but I tried to forget about it and get some sleep. Later that night, I woke up and saw her in my room. All she said was let me in, over and over, as she got closer. She then started shouting, Let me in, let me in, let me in! Let me in! wondering how in the world my girlfriend hadn't heard this going on. The woman was right next to me and held up a knife to me. That's when I fainted. I woke startled in my room, dripping with sweat. Then I remembered I don't have a girlfriend, nor a house, or a family. Come on, Paul. Time for your morning meds. Let me in. 